Hello, welcome to another week review brought to you by the good people at Simply Wigs and by me, my good self, I'm Ellen. Um, this is quite exciting. I've got not one, not two, not three, but four different colours of this beautiful bob to show you. I'm going to do two videos. This one is to talk about this particular style of wig, this particular beauty that I'm wearing. And the other video is going to be a bit more of a showcase of the colours, so I'm just going to walk you through what the wig itself is like in this video and we'll look at the colours in another video as well. But as I say, I have four colours. The one on my head at the moment is Chocolate Cherry. This wig is a brand new piece of space age technology brought to you by... Now then, brought to you by... Where's the box? There it is. So this is the Vision 3000 Natural Looking Duo Fibre Hair Collection. And this is from Gisela Mayer. Now, I don't have any Gisela Mayer wigs. This is a new thing for me. And this is nice, as I say, new, fancy, technologically marvellous awesomeness that they're bringing to us. This fibre is 30% human hair and 70% new blend fibre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the literature about this, OK? Human hair has often been imitated but never duplicated until now until now. Vision 3000 Duo Fibre was created as a high-tech alternative to more costly human hair products and far exceeds other heat-friendly fibres available in the market today. Bold claim. We'll talk about that. I think it might. Made of 70% new fibre synthetic and 30% human hair blend. So it can withstand temperatures up to 150 degrees C and feels like human hair. Uh, flawless texture, soft, easy to comb, does not tangle. Uh, remains light, feels like human hair, has a huge colour selection. So, soft and like human hair, you're not kidding. This is the softest, most fine, I want to say like denier, you know, finest of the hair, fibres themselves. It is extremely real, very real to the touch and very real to the look as well. It does not have any excessive shine. This colour is quite shiny, but it's quite dark and darker colours tend to be. When we have a look at the other, um, I have a champagne blonde and I also have a medium grey to show you and they are probably not going to be as shiny because it isn't that shiny because of the blend. Um, I don't know what the deal is with this new fibre technology, but I'm not taking any heat tools to this to try that out. But I'm very confident that this is going to be amazing and extremely versatile. So if you have um, a bob synthetic wig of any kind at the moment, I'm going to pick Tori by Renee of Paris as an example of a popular wig with a low end sort of price point that lots of people have and like to wear. Something like this is very similar, but it has a lot of high end uh, cap features before you even start on the fibre. So this one is a mono top. So it has the kind of uh, horseshoe of mono here that you would expect to see. And it has a polythene strip just to anchor it to your uh, hairline at the front here. So it's not a lace front. And because of the style of the cut, it doesn't need to be. But if I just do that, you can see the wig edge and my actual hairline just here underneath it. So and the rest of it's wefted. So, yeah, it's um, it's a quite a high end cap construction compared to something like Tori. It doesn't have the permatees as a result of that. So the things that people don't necessarily like about a synthetic bob wick that doesn't have any monofilament feature tends to be that you get the slightly nesty looking, slightly scratchy permatees effect in the part, which arguably reduces the realism of a wig like that. Um, it never bothered me very much, but it does bother some people quite a bit. And certainly if you've got much more hair loss to deal with than I have, it would probably be quite scratchy on your head. So from a comfort point of view, inside, it's already winning. This is light years ahead in that sense. But what is, it's the hair itself, which is what we're all kind of here for, isn't it? It's so soft and it's going to be so very malleable at the moment, straight out of the box. And I've done nothing to this wig because I need to send it back. So straight out of the box, she's a bit turned under for my liking. So the first thing I would do is straighten her a little here and I'm just going to hold it. Yeah, you see what I mean? So if you actually pull these front pieces down, she's way below the chin on me. Um, 
but yeah, you can see what would happen here if you straightened that out. At that point, you could probably do a bit of tucking if you wished, like so. New, new, new. Again, I would straighten that piece out. And if this was a bit more straight, this is then starting to look a bit like a favourite bob of mine, um, which is similar to this one, which is also very popular, which is Ignite by Jean Renault, which is also another heat defiant wig, but it is not a blend that has no human hair fibre. So straight away, looking at this um, Gisela Mayer uh, Duo Fibre Yuri, I had to look at the name then, um, it's already seeming very versatile because it's got these extra fantastic cap features, but it also has the heat defiant fibre, this wonderfully soft, realistic blend and therefore it's got that uh, styling potential so you're going to be able to straighten it you're going to be able to put a curl in it because of the mono and you're not going to get a good view of the mono but as you can, if I do that I'm just going to pull it across the part it already has which is near as much center part because of the mono the mono actually comes to here so I can feel the boundary of the mono where the weft starts there so you're going to be able to move this parting around um, anyone who's ever moved a parting in a mono top wig will know that it needs a little bit of training and a bit of a kind of bit of this. You can warm your palms and like press it into position in a new part. That's the best way. It might take a few times to get it to sit there. But you would be able to shift this parting around. So if you're somebody who um, would prefer to find a wig that parts on the right, for example, because they all seem to part on the left, you could move this across. The fringe... I've swept it to one side on me because I've got this shallow little forehead that doesn't really take to fringes very well and I've cut every single fringed wig I own. But this fringe, as you can see, <laughs> it's not the way I'm going to wear it, but as you can see, if you wanted to have this professionally cut or if you're a dab hand yourself and a bit brave or stupid like me, you might do it yourself, but you would be able to get this trim to whatever shape you like. So if you wanted quite a funky blunt fringe with these lengths at the side that would be cool you could also have it trimmed into a nice curled under little betty page type number whatever you want and of course you can sweep it either way you could thin it if you liked but you've got options and again if you're having trouble with it or it's just not sitting right you'll be able to do what you can't do with a synthetic bob wig and take your low heat styling tools to it a little caveat for heat defiant wigs i can't speak to how easy this fiber is to care for because as i say this is new you know crazy technology so i have no idea how fragile it is but most heat defiant fiber is quite fragile and with it being a blend of human hair and quite as i say delicate soft heat defiant fibre, there's a good chance it's going to need babying just that bit more than your more robust synthetics might do, which is the flip side of something being that bit more realistic and uh, malleable to styling. So Simply Wigs, I have no doubt, will have on their site lots of different things that you can use to care for a wig like this. Um, as I say, all it would need is just a bit more care, a bit more gentle brushing than... Um, a normal synthetic wig would but also it's worth pointing out that this wig as I'll show you in a minute is stacked a little bit into the back which means that it's not going to tangle at the nape and that's one of the things that reduces the longevity of your wigs by a huge factor is that if they're longer than sort of uh, lower nape sort of top of shoulder length they gather into a tangle at the back of your head here and it's horrible so as we're heading into these colder months with the scarves and the snoods and the high neck coats and bundled up in the cold weather something like this is going to just sit looking classy and elegant just above your collar and not making a rat's nest right here that you're going to have great fun with later with your comb so another massive plus for this sort of a style um, I'm going to give you a quick 360 so you can see the shape of it. Again, bear in mind that you will be able to get it to do slightly different things. So if it looks a bit too curled one place, a bit too, you know, a bit too something or not enough something for you, it would actually have a lot of options and you would be able to do a few things. So I'm going to turn around. So here's the front. Bear with me. Here's the left. So as you can see, it's quite beveled. Comes in. These top layers I'm going to pull up there. Can you see that's quite short? Not that short, but short enough to give you this curve, um, which is absolute perfection. And of course, would always look like that. Would always look like that because it's a blend. So the synthetic would hold it all in place and just make it perfect. And it would stay how you'd styled it till you used heat on it again. If we turn around, I really hope I'm still in the camera. 
So you can see there's decent coverage just here. You can probably see a little bit of my own biological hair poking out because I need to do something with it at the minute. Um, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, but yes, you can see the back there. And again, you can see that nicely beveled shape. Ooh. And here we are again with the right hand side. So as you can see, she's a bit of a beauty. She really is. So I'm not going to bang on about it too much longer, but I will show you the cap. So bear in mind now that my wig cap is about to happen. Ta-da! And I've tucked the tag down the back of my top. I've forgotten I've done that. So as you can see, as I said, we have the monofilament top, nice, soft mono, not scratchy. And we have this nice polythene strap there um not strap edging is the word i want and if you're not familiar with that what that will do is it sits just here and because it's sitting in the skin it just kind of holds just a bit of grip just right there so if like me you wear your wig cap like this which most people will just pull back slightly from where your natural hairline would be the polythene will just hold it right there it does have she says can i find them it does have ear tab the ear tab has got a very small piece of wire in it, which I'm really glad about because a lot of them, a lot of wigs have got really quite big, thick uh, wires in the ear tabs. This one does not. So for, for your comfort, that's going to be fine. And of course, with the hair coming down over it, not a problem. And then at the back here, you have this nice, soft strip, which just sits comfortably tucked here under that bone at the back of your head. And just holds everything in place so it's not going to budge it feels as stable as you want and it's a lovely fit as well my head is small to average and it just fits comfortably if you do need to adjust it Gisela Mayer goes for the velcro so you have the velcro I'm not showing you that very well you can see it there can't you that there will come up and you can pull it tighter or looser to uh, get the circumference of the cap just so it sits comfortably all the way around and holds everything in place. So I hope you like her as much as I do. I think she's stunning. And I'm going to talk a bit more about the colour. I'm a little bit in love with this colour, but I'm a little bit in love with at least three out of the other four of the colours that I've been sent. And they're all beautiful. Um, but once again, I'm having the problem I always have, which I've got to send them back. I don't want to send them back. My house has been colonised by little wig boxes and I need to stop. I need to stop doing this. But... <laughs> if you're in the market for a slightly high-end bob that you want to have some flexibility with this is it it really is and as i say i'm going to show you the more colors um there's going to be lots and lots of choices um yeah she's just a beauty so this is once again duo fiber yuri bob wig monofilament top and this is from Giselle and Mayer. Hope you like her. Keep an eye out for the uh, colour showcase as well. Um, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks. Bye.